Hi friends. We are going to make a switch from doing the science that we've been doing and we need to go into social studies now. So um, we're going to be learning about symbols of our country this week and then next week to wrap up the school year we'll be doing symbols of our state. So um, I want you to know the difference between our state and our country. Okay. Um, so I drew this this map here. Does anyone recognize what this is? It's not a cow udder. It kind of looks like that, but it's not that. Um, this is a map of our country. And do you know what our country's name is? I'll give you a clue. It's got a U and an S and an A. So you might see USA sometimes, but USA stands for uh, the name of our full name of our country, United, Oops. United, S is for states, and then there's a little of in there, and then America. Okay, you can see my goof there, I goofed. I made a little U here, but um, that's okay because I make mistakes all the time, so we'll just forget that. And so our country is the United States of America. And so inside this picture here, I want you to picture this being like a puzzle. And inside this puzzle, there are 50 pieces. Okay, those 50 pieces are called the states. So if you have a big puzzle and you've got all these little pieces, those would be the states. Okay, so do you know what our state is? So if this is our country, if this whole thing is the United States, it's a big land with 50 pieces or 50 um, states. Okay, so our state is, do you guys know? California. Okay, so if this is a map of our country, do you know where California is? So when we look at maps, the top of our map is north. So north is up here at the top. The bottom is south. Okay, if you're looking at our map of the country, there's north at the top, south at the bottom. Over here on the right of the country, we call that east. And then over here on the left side of our map of the country is west. Okay, so here is a map of the United States. We are in the west. Okay, so if you look on a map, you will find our piece of the puzzle. Okay, our piece of the puzzle is California. And California is a large state in our country, um, and it is all the way over here in the west up against the Pacific Ocean. So I hope you guys have had a chance to go dip your toes in the Pacific Ocean. We're pretty lucky to live right next to the ocean. Okay, so this is California. We abbreviate California with a big C and a big A. Okay, so this is our home. So the whole thing, the whole puzzle is our country, the United States of America. And then this little puzzle piece over here is our state, and our state is California, okay? Now, today we're, we're only focusing on our country, the United States of America, and this week we're going to learn three symbols of our country. So I'm going to give you a choice of how you want to present your learning. You can either do it in a flip book like we did for, I think we did this for Tacky before, um, so you could do it this way, like a flip book, or you could just take a rectangular piece of paper and divide it into four boxes. Um, and today we're going to focus on the flag, okay? And then tomorrow we're going to do a special statue. And then on Thursday we're going to do a special bird that represents our country. Okay, so you have a choice. You can do it this way, or you can do it this way. So parents, if you want to do the flip book, really fun and e it's an easy way it's a fun way to show learning and it's an easy thing to make so here's how you do it you take two pieces of paper and you put one on top of the other but you stagger them okay so if you can see at the bottom I left about about a two inch space there 
Then I'm just going to simply fold it over, making sure that I have um, one flap, I have the cover, and then I have page one, and then I have page two, and page three. Now you can either staple it at the top, um, if you have a stapler, if not, you could just tape it, okay? And then this is how you make the flip book, okay? And we've used these in our class before, so the kids should be familiar with it. All right, so we're gonna do um, the flag today. And here's what our American flag looks like. Okay, our American flag has three colors to it, and I'm going to send you a video on the flag today, but I want you to make your own flag. So, I made it in the flip book earlier just to show you, but I want to um, show you how to make it um, on your own too, because you're going to draw your own American flag today. Now, if we were in our classroom, we'd be painting it, and it would be fun. But we are not in our classroom, so we're going to just draw, and that's the best we can do. So we're going to make the flag shape. To make the flag shape, it's a big rectangle. Okay. And just start with a big rectangle like that. Okay. Then over here on the left side, we're going to come down about halfway, and we're going to make another rectangle inside the big rectangle like that. Okay. So I start off with one big rectangle, and then inside I went halfway down and out and up. So I made a rectangle up in the upper left-hand corner, okay? Then you're going to need a red crayon. Now, our flag has um, 13 total stripes, okay? But the stripes are red and white. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six six, seven red stripes, and one, two, three, four, five, six white stripes. And so six plus seven equals 13. The reason there are 13 stripes on our flag is for the first 13 colonies. When the pilgrims came over and they started their new land, um, they set up colonies um, or little areas of land that became our first 13 states. But that's why there are 13 stripes on our flag. So. I want you to start up here on the top, and we're going to make a red stripe up here on the top. That'll be our stripe number one. See that? Then I'm going to come all the way down here to the bottom, and I'm going to make the bottom stripe red, because our flag has red on the tip top and red on the bottom. Okay? All right. So you got that so far? All right. Then we're going to go one, two, three. So we're going to make three more red stripes coming out from this rectangle, okay, um, where the blue field is. So I'm going to go one, two, and then at the bottom of the rectangle, I'm going to go three. Okay, see that? So red at the tip top, and then I'm going to go one, two, three red stripes. So Across the uh, interior rectangle, there's going to be a total of one, two, three, four. But I did the top already, so then I'm going to do one, two, three more. Then down here in the bottom part, this other rectangle space down here, I'm going to make two more red stripes. So one, two, whoops. Okay, so... Now, I don't have to worry about the white stripes because if I just leave space between my red stripes, I already have the white stripes there. So you just want to make sure that you have the right number of red stripes. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should have seven red stripes. And then in between the red stripes, there are six white stripes. Okay? Now, up here in the corner, this is where the stars go. Now, I told you that the stripes represent the first 13 colonies or our first 13 states, but do you know what the stars stand for up here in the corner of our flag? Those actually stand for the states. And so we're going to make 50 of them. So here's my uh, one that I did on my flip book. Now, the easiest way to make sure that you have 50 stars is we're going to do five rows of 10. So we're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, okay? Can you see that? So I'm going to just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten on the top. Okay, now I'm using a, just a regular pencil because I, I wish I had paint with me, but I don't. So I'm just making the best I can. So that's one row of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have ten plus ten. How much is that? Twenty. Then I'm going to do another row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This reminds me of our hundreds a day. Now we have three rows of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four rows of ten. How much is four tens? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Another last row of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Done. Okay? Now, I'm fast at doing stars. If you want to do stars your own way, feel free. Do it your way. But how are you going to know you have 50? You need to make five rows of 10. Okay, then we're going to color this inside rectangle blue. Now, on our flag, the three colors have meaning also. So, the stripes are for the first 13 colonies or the first 13 states when our country was just beginning. The blue stands for the stars, or I mean, excuse me, the, the stars stand for the states. So one of these stars in here represents California, and I'll give you a clue. It's the 31st star is our state of California. We're the 31st state. So on a flag, red stands for strength and bravery, white stands for freedom and liberty, and blue stands for perseverance, never giving up. All right, guys, when you make your flag, I want to leave a little space because we're going to write a sentence down here at the bottom, okay, to go with our illustration. So have a great time making your flag today. I can't wait to see them later today when you send them to me. Have a great day.